Hello, my name is Adrian. If this is your first time to join us, we talk about anything related to pre-med, med proper, clerkship, internship, PLE, USMLE, and beyond. Welcome to The Better Pill, your weekly prescription of tips and insights to become better students, better interns, and better doctors. What's up, better doctors? Today, um, solo flight po ako because my co-host Mike Sibs, he can't make it today because he is quite busy. But that won't stop us from creating new and quality content for you guys. In fact, today we are going to be talking about one of the most important productivity tools in med school. And it is something I didn't see everybody in med school doing. Maybe because hindi lang nakita ng lahat yung benefits or maybe because hindi lang nila na try or maybe because they've tried it but they were using the wrong techniques or they were using it wrong. And I'm talking about using a planner in medical school. But is it really necessary? Can you survive medical school without a planner? Of course you can, no? Uh, I don't think it's an absolute necessity talaga, but I think the benefits of using one so much outweigh the hassles of, you know, using a planner every day. This episode is not for those who are already performing optimally in medical school, those who are excelling na even without using a planner. Likewise, it is also not for those who are not anymore looking for ways to improve their med life, those who are super satisfied now with how they are living their med school lives. So this episode is for those na gusto talagang ayusin yung buhay nila in medical school. Those who are struggling with time management. Those who are not able to finish studying for quizzes and exams either because they for forget some of the quizzes or exams or because kinapos sila sa time. Maybe because hindi enough yung oras nila to study. This is also for those who want more time for non-med non-med related activities, no? Um I'll be talking based on my personal experience mostly. I've used a pla- I used a planner while I was in med school and it was really of great help to me, no, especially with time management. Because guys, med school is all about time management talaga. Time management is life in medical school. So let's kick this episode off by discussing the benefits of using a planner in med school. As I have said, in med school, time management is key. And I think it's a myth yung sinasabi nila na when you're in med school, you absolutely have no time for other things at all. No more time for social life. No more time for friends or family. No more time for your hobbies or exercise. That is 100% myth. Myth lang talaga yan. Because if you are able to manage your time well, then I believe and I know based on my experience then, that you're gonna have time for other things. Hindi lang time for aral. Yeah, you wouldn't have to be spending your whole day no, to just study for exams, quizzes, etc. Using a planner, it really helps with time management because um, with a planner, you're able to distribute your time and your resources appropriately. No? Kasi you can plan out your week eh, ahead of time. For example, because I'm a PT graduate, strength ko yung anatomy. And because in college we didn't have much of biochemistry, super weakness ko talaga yun. So if I use a planner, I'm able to distribute my time appropriately. Uh, if I had 10 hours, for example, 
I wouldn't allot five hours for anatomy and five hours for biochemistry. Kasi weakness ko yung biochemistry eh. And medyo okay na ako sa anatomy. So I'm gonna have to adjust that. Perhaps I can put two hours in anatomy and eight hours in biochemistry. Mga ganun. So with a planner, you're really able to plan ahead and distribute your time and resources, I have said, appropriately. Aside from that, you're gonna have time for hobbies. No? Exercise, biking, walking, mauling, whatever. And you're gonna have time for your family. You're gonna become a more well-rounded person. Because kung na-plan out mo na yung weeks mo, then in your in the time that you are planning, ma masi-schedule mo na doon na, okay, I'm gonna set this weekend. Talagang this is just for my family. So, I'm gonna have to finish all my schoolwork on Friday. Friday night, dapat tapos ko na. Or Saturday morning, dapat natapos ko na siya. Saturday af- afternoon hanggang Sunday, I can free those days up for my family lang talaga. Parang ganun. If you, th- if you don't use a planner, mahirap yun is kede eh, kasi magulo yung isip mo. Lalo na ang dami-daming exams and quizzes in medical school. So, using a planner really helps in that aspect of our lives, of our med lives, no? Secondly, it gives you a greater sense of control of your life. Because with a planner, you are more aware of the things you have to do. So if you are more aware of the things, of the tasks at hand that you have, then you have greater control of it. You have greater control of your life as a whole. Because it declutters your head. It also creates less anxiety. Because really in medical school, there are really tons of things to do, no? Aside from studying for exams, you're gonna have extracurricular activities, may mga, um, may mga events also, no? You're gonna have projects also, vid- you're gonna be creating videos, you're gonna be doing may mga activities, may mga dance, um, sports, and other stuff, no? Hindi lang naman puro aral ang med school. Having all these activities at hand, if you do not write them down on a planner, sobrang maguguluhan yung utak nyo because parang ang dami, dami-dami talagang dapat gawin and mahihirapan kang i-allot yung time mo, mahihirapan kang i-distribute yung time mo without the help of a planner. And the planner, again, it really helps in that aspect talaga. Uh, talking about anxiety, in my experience, when I know na ang dami-dami kong dapat gawin, it creates anxiety in me because sa isip ko, I don't know where to start. But if I write them down on a planner, tas nalagay ko yon yung specific amount of hours that I'm gonna have to be spending on each activity, ayun, it gives me a greater sense of control of my life. And it allays my anxiety. Hindi naman totally erases it. But at least, Napapababa yung anxiety ko. So that's our second benefit, no? It gives you a sense of control over your life. The third benefit na nakita ko in my personal experience is that it exercises my planning skills. Planning a schedule, it has to be individualized. You might say when in using a planner, no? Or scheduling your med life, you might say, why don't I just follow my classmate's study schedule? Why do you not have a planner? Just copy it. The thing is, as I have mentioned kanina, we have different strengths and weaknesses. My classmate may have to spend more, so much more time in anatomy than I have to. In the same way, if my classmate, kunwari, um, he or she is a graduate of biochemistry and molecular biology, then he or she is gonna have to sp- spend way less time in biochemistry than I have to. So, hindi ko naman pwede yung kopyahin lang yung schedule niya. Kasi iba-iba naman, iba-iba yung backgrounds natin eh. And iba-iba yung strengths and weaknesses natin. So, important talaga that when you create, when you create your schedule or when you plan your schedule ahead, 
you have to make it individualized according to your own strengths, weaknesses, skills, and abilities. That's why using a planner, it also it exercises your planning skills, really. Because you're gonna have to plan out ahead, eh? You're gonna have to anticipate what might come in the week or two ahead. You're gonna have to distribute your time. You're gonna have to arrange arrange your schedule, dating na may activities mo, what you have for the next week or two. A arrange mo siya. And yun, you really plan out your week. So, yun, it's an exercise of your planning skills, which is an important, I think, is an important skill in life, no? The next benefit that I saw is it increases self-awareness. Because beyond planning, beyond planning, it requires you to sort of question yourself. Kanina, na-mention ko na to, it, it you have to know your strengths and weaknesses when you when you use a pl- planner in the right way, no? Kailangan kilala mo talaga yung sarili mo. For the same reasons that I have mentioned kanina. Because for example, I have two exams. For example, I have to prepare for an IM and a surgery exam. If in the past week, I was really very attentive during my IM classes. Talagang sobrang naaral ko na siya in the past week. Then I'm gonna have to a lot less time for IM. And maybe distribute it na um, there will be more time for surgery. Parang ganun. And kasi if you don't reflect on yourself while you're creating your schedule, wala, a lot ka lang ng time for, for all your subjects. Distribute your time equally. Na mention ko na din to kanina. Hindi naman dapat kanon. You don't distribute your hours equally among all your activities. So again, it requires using a planner requires you to reflect on yourself, and this increases self awareness, which again is an important thing in life. You have to be aware talaga of yourself. Dapat kilala mo yung sarili mo. Because, syempre, your choices in life are all dictated by your preferences, by your views, you know, by your identity. So, maganda na kilala talaga natin yung sarili natin. Not just for using a planner, but also for life. So, those are the benefits, at least, you know, some of the benef- the major benefits that I have seen with using a planner. Time management, sense of control, planning skills, and self-awareness. The next thing that I'm going to be talking about is whether you should use a digital or a physical planner. And my advice on that is for you to go with whatever floats your boat. No, uh, Iba-iba naman tayo ng preferences. And... Isa sa mga beliefs or motos ko in life is to each his own. So, piliin mo lang kung ano yung mas gusto mo or just pick which suits you best. And how would you know that? You have to try different with your different options. Try to go with digital planners. There's so many different apps that are available for free. And you can try using an actual physical planner that you act, that you really write on mm, yung planner talaga like the Starbucks planner so try them out and then you'll know after no after trying out after trying out your different options you would know which one will suit you best some people they use a combination of digital and physical planners but Ako, I just, I like to stick to one lang. So, what I did was, na try ko lahat. No, I first tried using a physical planner. And sabi ko, kind of, may, may konting hassle siya because sometimes mas, it's easier kasi to just use your phone. No? It's so handy. It's just in your pocket. Just grab it and then key in 
or type whatever you have to. But I always find myself going back to the physical planner kasi para sa akin it's way easier to use. Digital planners, they're just not as intuitive as I want planners to be. At least for my personal from my personal experience lang no. <clears throat> That's just my preference. And I also found that a weekly schedule, it's too large for a smartphone screen or an iPhone screen. Siguro if daily schedule lang tinitingnan mo, okay lang. Okay lang to use a smartphone. But I like to, you know, take med school kasi one week at a time. Parang that's, for me, ha, that's the most optimal way to do it. To handle it. One week at a time. Two weeks at most, no? One or two weeks. Kung titingnan mo yung activities mo in med school, one month at a time, talagang ma-overwhelm ka. Um, maybe it's a psychological thing, but ang dami kasi talagang dapat gawin. So, tinignan mo yung monthly calendar mo, parang masyasya ka. Oh, ang dami kong exams. You just get overwhelmed. You know, they say take it one day at a time. Yeah, that's correct. One day at a time. But you plan your med life one week at a time. Two weeks at most. Two weeks at most. Beyond that, nakakapagod na. And baka ma-discourage ka lang mag-aral kasi sa isip mo, ang dami talagang dapat gawin. So, ganun guys. Take med school one class at a time, one day at a time, and plan it out one week at a time. Two weeks at most. So, going back, to, you know, using a physical planner. Uh, yun nga, sabi ko, a weekly schedule is, I think it's too large for the iPhone screen. Siguro if you use an iPad or a desktop. Pero, again, that would defeat the purpose of using a digital planner kasi medyo bulky naman yung iPad and desktop. Another thing why I prefer physical planners over digital ones is that so kasi mag scribble, it's easier to scribble, to write, to erase, to cross out when you use a physical planner. Para mas mabilis, mas mabilis i sulat, mas mabilis mag arrange, mag layout. Later I'll talk about how I lay out my planner. Mas mabilis talaga if you use a physical planner compared to a digital. Mas limited ka kasi sa digital eh. Although maganda siya because you can sync it with all your devices, your desktop, your iPad, your iPhone, your iWatch. Then again, yun nga, um, I think when it comes to the layout, when it comes to you know crossing out stuff, scribbling, um, you are limited in that aspect when you use a digital planner. Another thing why I prefer physical planners is it gives me a break from the virtual, from the digital world. Lalo na ngayon, no, with the online classes. Um, siguro, the med students now, they're just on their laptops, on their desktops, on their iPads, on their iPhones uh, for the most part of the day. And that's where they do all their activities. Lalo na for those who don't like to print out notes, those who study on their iPads lang. So, if you have a physical planner, at least that gives you a break, no? Uh, break from screen time. And... It, wala, there's something ther- therapeutic about actually scribbling, writing down with a physical pen and paper. Again, as I've said, I've tried out so many different apps, so many different digital planners, but I always find myself going back to my physical planner. I use a Starbucks planner, by the way. So, yun. Just try out your different options and then find find the one which suits you best. Ano na lang. Or you can use a combination. Depende na lang. Depende sa'yo. So let's move on to how I used my planner in my daily med life when I was a med school student. When I was a med- medical student. So again, I said kanina that we should take, we should plan out our med lives one week at a time. Uh, two weeks at the most. No, Beyond that kasi you get overwhelmed. So again, I used a Starbucks planner in medical school because 
I don't know. Mahilig kasi ako sa coffee and may may years na binigyan ako ng Starbucks planner. Um there were also years na I just you know, nag-collect din ako ng stickers because mahilig talaga ako sa coffee, guys. Coffee is life for me. So, the layout of the Starbucks planner is at the start of the month, meron siyang monthly calendar. Okay? And then following that, the the next pages are divided in you know weeks no so per week yung pages niya monday to sunday so it's perfect no kasi yung layout niya weekly and that's also how we want to plan our our schedule in in medical school no so i'll talk about my actual experience although i don't have the planners that i used in medical school na I remember naman how I how I went about it. So in med school we used the class used this app called it's an online app. It's called Team Up, no? So our officers they would upload those kasi at the start of the term syempre there there's a course syllabus diba per subject. So nandun yung schedule talaga of the lectures, of the lab classes, of the quizzes and exams. Nandun yung lahat. So Kudos to our officers, no? Ang galing talaga nila. They upload, they upload the schedule at the start of the term sa team up. So, we have this online calendar which the class can access. So, nandun na yung schedule namin for the term. Siyempre, it changes, no? And our officers also update them on a regular basis. Calendars. So, so all we have to do, you know, to plan out our individual schedules is to just you know look at team up nandun na yung schedule namin eh so so this is how i did it now step 1 so i check my class calendar if you don't have a class calendar if your if your class doesn't do it then i suggest you start doing it kasi it's really very efficient but if you don't then syempre you have to collate all your uh, all the schedules of your subject, and then, siempre you have to know what's to happen in the in the week to come, no? So your exams, your class, your classes, lectures, your lab classes, your exams, practicals, SGDs, everything. Dapat, dapat meron ka. You have it right in front of you. That's step one. So when you have them in front of you, no? In my case, I just look at team up. So, team up is like Google Calendar. No, ganun. That's step one. So, step two is, on the weekends, usually I do mine on Saturday mornings. You know, or Sunday. Depends. Mas, ma- mas maganda Saturday mornings kasi um, you'll have more time. No? You'll have more time to plan your week ahead. Hey, on Saturday mornings, I transfer the sched from team up or from Google Calendar, whatever your class is using, to my planner. No, I, I transfer the schedule to my planner for the upcoming week or two. Usually, I do mine two weeks. No, Kasi at least alam ko lang na um, in the week after next, baka may super uh, mahirap na exam dun. So, at least I can start preparing for it na okay, in the next week. No, so I'll have more time. So, I usually do mine two weeks. Two weeks yung pinaplan out ko. But syempre, I focus talaga on the upcoming week lang. So after I've written down, no, I divide, okay, I divide the week on no, yung page. I divide it into two halves. So the left half of it, the left half of the days of the week, dun ko sinusulat yung actual schedule ko for the day. So yung lecture for the day, yung SGD for the day, SGDs, lectures, Yung labs ko for the day, exams, practicals, quizzes, whatever. Dun ko sa left half of the day. On the right half naman, that's my to-do list. That's where I, that's why I write what I have to do. So, for example lang ah. For example, on a Tuesday, I have an anatomy quiz, for example. So, on that weekend na plinan out ko yung schedule ko, on the right half of my Monday, 
susulat ko na doon to do study anatomy because I'm gonna have a quiz on the Tuesday. So Monday, right half, that's my to do eh. Sulat ko na doon study for anatomy. And even on that Sunday and Saturday, baka magsisimula na ako pag-aralan yung Tuesday quiz or exam ko on anatomy. Parang ganun. So, two halves. Left half is the actual schedule of the day. Yung lahat ng classes and exams, whatever. And then, yung right half ko, yun yung mga to-do ko. Kung anong dapat kong gawin to prepare. So, for example, I have a neuro exam on a Friday. So, nasa left half yun on that Friday. So, medyo mahirap yung neuro eh. So, I can already start studying. In fact, on the um on the Monday, no? So, sulat ko na siya sa to-do list ko on the Monday and even Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So, pwede ko siyang ma-divide, no? If it's a chapter, then I can divide the pages, no? So, it it makes it more bearable kasi um, you wouldn't have to cram. If, sinulat, if, you know, if I don't use a planner, tas medyo makakalimutan ko na, hala, I have an example lang on Friday, anatomy, tas naalala ko Wednesday na. Then I start studying on Thursday, on Thursday na. So, medyo magka-cram na ako and I really wouldn't be able to, you know, digest the text that I will have to be studying. So, that's the advantage of using a planner, no? That's the utility of a planner because you really get to plan out your week ahead at most two weeks, as we said kanina. So, that's how I used my planner in med school and sobrang laking tulong talaga niya. And how did it affect my med life? Well, to be honest, there were weeks naman that I didn't use a planner. Yung mga chill weeks. There are chill weeks in medical school. And those are the weeks na we we had time to, you know, bond with friends, go out. Those are the chill weeks na wala masyadong exams, a few quizzes lang, ganun. Pero on most occasions talaga, medyo busy yung weeks in med school. And most of the time, I did use a planner talaga. And it really helped me a lot, no? And this... In my opinion, it really translated to better scores, you know, better understanding of the concepts taught during lectures, better physical health, um, kasi you're, like, you're gonna have more time to exercise and sleep. Oh, nga pala, dun sa, when I said better understanding of the concepts, what happens kasi in med school, um, pag merong mga exams during the day, students will just study during the lectures. Um, that really happens well, and it also happened. It also happened to me, no. Na mag-aaral ka na lang, and you you don't get to focus na on the lecture. So what's the point of attending pa the lecture if you just study for a different subject? Kasi may exam ka don. But in using a planner, pag naaral mo na talaga yung text that you have to for an exam, eh, di, mas makaka-focus ka na on the lecture. Kasi lectures are important, but sige, that's a topic of that can be the subject of a. Uh, of another episode. Should you attend lectures or not? Let's do that uh, sometime in the future. But then again, using a planner, it's it's not a perfect solution. No? Hindi naman siya magic. Kahit you use a planner, ma- mahirap pa rin yung med school, syempre. Sobrang dami pa rin gawin, gagawin. But using a planner really made my academic load in med school a bit lighter. Although mahirap pa rin. Pero it makes it more bearable. So, yun lang guys. That's all I have for you today. I hope you learned a thing or two today. If you have questions, if you have suggestions, if you have, you know, suggest, if you have, if may alam kayong digital planners na sobrang ganda that you think could replace physical planners, uh, please let us know so we can let our listeners know as well. You can always reach us at the better pill podcast at gmail.com you yeah, hope you learned a thing or two i hope i encouraged you to use a planner in med school because really it will make a big difference in your med school lives again myth lang yung when they say na when you're in med school laka talagang time for other things that's you know just that that's just a myth talaga and Alam ko yun based on my experience. And using a planner really helps you to make time for other non-med things. So, thank you guys. That's all I have for today. Once again, this has been Adrian. Catch us again next week for your refill prescription of...
the better pill.